Hey guys, Steve Welch here at Bima Toyota. Uh, coming to you to talk about the 2025 Toyota Tundra. Toyota has just released some information about the new 25 Toyota Tundra that I think it's uh, time to get excited about. So um, first off, Toyota is going to come out with the new Tundra. It's going to have a rally package, right? Uh, so that's not going to be a trim level. It, it looks like it's going to be a package. So like TRD off-road uh, would be a package. And the reason I say it's going to be a package, I'm going to kind of go over what's in it. But if you have like, you can have a limited with an off-road package. You can have, you know, a... Uh, a platinum with an off-road package so something like that this is going to be a package that should be available I, I hope on several trims so what's the rally package so it's going to have 18 inch trd off-road alloy wheels with unique center caps and all-terrain tires a toyota heritage tri-color decal on the grill front doors tailgate center caps and dashboard uh, off-road suspension with bilstein shocks skid plates mud guards electronically controlled locking rear diff multi-terrain select crawl control and downhill assist control uh, it should it says TRD engine start button. That should be a red button. Um, leather wrap shift knob, leather wrap steering wheel, and dual tipped exhaust. Uh, soft text trimmed eight way power adjustable heated front seats with power lumbar and tri color accents with yellow and orange stitching. A dual zone automatic climate control, aluminum sport pedals, and the 14 inch. Uh, audio multimedia touchscreen. So, like I said, I think that it says package, so it should mean that it's on several trims. So, hopefully, that's what that is, but that's what I would believe. So, um, now the new tow tech package that's something else that you're going to have out there so this is there's some of the things that you're getting a couple things are going to be discontinued i'll talk about those here in a minute but you get a new tow tech package that'll include the wi-fi trailer camera with the antennas right so that's something that's pretty sweet now this is the part that i'm so excited about when i say so excited you have no idea i texted my wife as soon as i found this out so multi-function front seat massager standard on a 1794 a platinum and a capstone all right so um, now i have a limited might have to go to a platinum I'm, I'm hoping it says standard on 1794 platinum and capstone so i'm hoping that means it'll be optional on a limited i'd kind of like to stay with the limited for mine but we'll have to see because i think that would definitely be something to make me go up a trim but um pretty pretty sweet right so keep in mind this will be several different trims that we're talking about that could have different things so um now also going to have an eight way fabric trim power seat with power lumbar now standard on the sr5 grade so there was an sr5 grade if you didn't get the upgraded package you wouldn't have a power seat it's not going to be standard on the sr5 grades uh, along with the lumbar um, power tailgate with knee lift assist will be optional on an sr5 and standard on limited and above um, iforce max tailgate badge uh, with the beyond zero badge so um Beyond Zero is a different thing that Toyota's been doing. We got, uh, looks like Delta going over top of us here, maybe. Uh, stand corrected, American going over top of us. Um, but anytime that you look, you see like iForce Max on, on the, the Tundras and that. So you're gonna have the Beyond Zero badge along with that. So, um, but iForce Max tailgate badge with Beyond Zero badge. So the badging will switch uh, slightly for uh, what you have on your iForce Max. So, uh, 1794 uh, unique tailgate stamping. So uh, they had done that on that uh, the 1794 special edition that had there was only a, a 1500 of them built. They actually had done a different stamping on the tailgate. So the 1794 is going to get a different stamping on that. Um, so it'll just you'll know it's a 1794 as soon as you get behind it. Um, it says the iForce Max hood badge uh, will change to Sequoia type hood badge except on the Pro. Um, now capstone center armrest, door pulls, and knee pads um, will be changed from the white to black. I think that's a really good thing because those have got dirty a lot. So um, they're changing those to black. I think that's definitely a winner there. Uh, black headliners on all models. So mud bath is the new pro color. I'll show you a picture of that when it comes to the to the Tundra there. That's going to be the pro and it'll go, you know, with Sequoia and stuff like that as well. And uh, the... Uh, uh, Tacoma, I'm sure, um, but that's going to be the new pro color. Um, the tailgate 4x4 badge is going to be moved lower to align with the new iForce Max Beyond Zero badge. So that's going to change a little bit for the 4x4, like you can see 4x4 over here. 
so that's going to change a little bit from where the placement on that is um, don't know exactly up down whatever but it's going to change uh, based off of that um, and then an updated key wireless charging system um, i've you know long said i don't i don't use the wireless charging because it's so much slower uh, in my truck than just plugging it in so i've plugged mine in for the longest time unless you know i have like somebody else in the truck that's using um the the cord that i have and then i'll i'll drop it on the charger but i don't rely on my wireless charger it's just not fast enough for me but so those are all things that are being changed uh and added to the tundra now there are some things that are being taken away so um let's you know you're gonna want to know about these just in case you like them and you want to you know get get those now right so um the trd sport gone right so the package for the trd sport is going to be gone really that's going to be what's um, being replaced by the rally package it sounds like so trd sport tundra is uh as of no more in case you're wondering what it looks like i have a sport right here so this is your sport package but uh you know you have your sport there's an off-road so uh you know just just saying trd sport like the one behind me is going to be no more so limited double cabs so uh, i don't think i even have any double cabs out here right now um if i do they're they're you know new to me so um, but what the double cab is is you have a crew max cab which is what you see back here the double cab is the one that is the shorter cab um, so you get uh, about half the the door width uh, for the back seat that limited in that version is gone so that'll be gone both the the two-wheel drive and the four-wheel drive version of that will be no more platinum and 1794 crew max four by two six and a half foot bed gone so platinum and 1794 crew max two wheel drive six and a half foot bed so the long bed two wheel drive platinum and 1794s are not going to be produced anymore which those uh those are long trucks so um I, I can understand that so um now here's something that you might might be real interested in if you own a business so the sr double cab 4x4 8.1 inch bed so the long bed sr double cab so the smaller cab that that eight foot bed that some people really like you're not gonna be able to get that anymore if you need one of those get it now um sr5 double cab 4x2 8 uh 8.1 inch bed right so um so the first one was the sr double cab 4x4 the second one's the SR5 double cap 4x2. So those are going away. Um, it notes solar octane. Um, solar octane is not going to be carried into the Tundra. A lot of times the pro colors get carried into the next, you know, next year. They're not carrying solar octane into the Tundra. So um, that, that's going away. So um, just, just know that it's an old, it's a, it's a pro color from a couple years and uh, it's not going to be carried any further into the Tundra. So now here's something else. So they had not too long ago with the 1794, you just had that saddle tan interior, right? And then they decided that they wanted to add the rich cream. So you got the dark saddle tan and then a lighter cream color on the interior. Well, apparently they've decided that didn't work so they're doing away with the rich cream interior on the 1794 so you're only going to have the saddle tan um is is pretty much what it looks like there and then the last thing is on the emblem that little hue that goes around the emblem that shows when you have a hybrid that's going away as well so with, meaning that when you have the iForce max uh, toyota's done the blue hue around hybrids for you know pretty much since the hybrids came out since the prius came out you would always have a blue hue and i'll see if i can find one here while i'm just kind of walking but um but toyota would do that and if you uh walked up on one you could tell pretty quick that you were looking at a hybrid well and i'll kind of show you over here this is just on a uh on a venza but you can kind of get the idea so you have that little blue hue around the the emblem well the tundra looks a little bit different when it has that um and it's actually kind of built in it's kind of like inlaid into the to the front of the uh of the tundra that's going away and it's just going to have that beyond zero uh look to it but anyway those are things that are being both added and taken away from the new 2025 tundra so if there's something that's being taken away that you want might be a time to get one now because it's going to be uh, harder and harder to get them with that. 
but if it's something coming up like me the massaging seats i am so looking forward to the 25 so um but you guys definitely let me know what you think steve walsh bima toyota in nashville you guys have a very good day i'll talk to you soon bye